<sighs> just all kinds of stuff happening this morning. I'm cutting my hands up and the dually just ran out of fuel in the driveway, so now I am running with the only can that I have, not a diesel can, a gas can, not that it makes any difference what holds the fuel, but it just looks funny. You get all kinds of looks at the semi-diesel pumps. They're looking at me like I'm some kind of moron pulling up in a gas-powered SUV with a gas can of diesel in it, but the thing just died in the driveway, ran out of diesel. And uh, I did not even realize it was getting that low, but we were hauling that truck back yesterday and I'm, I don't know, I guess I was just thinking it's only a 180 mile trip. There's no way I'm gonna be running out of diesel. So I didn't even just, didn't even think about looking at my fuel gauge because I filled up right before we left and it didn't even cross my mind. But apparently when you're hauling a heavy load with a truck like this, apparently 180 miles, you can actually burn through all that. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this thing filled up and hopefully it just starts back up because it just died in the driveway. I didn't like crank it a ton and try to get it going and whatever. So I'm hoping that filling it up with five gallons will get it enough to get it over to the station to fill it back up. Oh, I really hope this thing just starts up and I don't have a fuel system problem. It cold started and it high idled for like five minutes and I was literally put it in drive it started rolling down the driveway and it was like rope, rope, rope. they put it back in park and it still was like slowly went down and it just died even with five gallons in it it's hardly at an eighth of a tank so oh i hope this starts oh thank goodness let's get it over to the diesel pump and get it filled up real quick i got lucky that time much better we're all filled up ready to go well we got the dually all cleaned up Got a nice wash, got all that stupid salt off of the body and underneath, and gave it a real good spray. So hopefully it stays clean. It's nice and sunny today, so keep our fingers crossed. We're on our way up right now to get something dropped off for upholstery work. If you can see that in the back seat here, we've got the center console for the Resto Gen that we were supposed to drop off about two months ago and completely forgot to take it when I was up there picking up another vehicle. I completely forgot to drop it off. So now we're gonna do that right now. He said he should have it done in one to two weeks at most and then we're gonna get that slapped in that truck. We just got the center console dropped off for the Resto Gen and if you guys have never heard of this guy, Custom Interiors by Thomas. I think he's got, oh yeah, right there. Custom Interiors by Thomas he is in Garrett, Indiana does really good work. I've gotten a lot of stuff done here. The second jet Longhorn, that interior work was all done here. The 7.3 Power Stroke, all that interior work was done here. Our headliner for the Resto Gen, the headliner for Reagan's Duramax that she gave away, all that stuff was done here. This guy does amazing work. He's pretty darn quick, unless he's got like tons of stuff that just floods in at one time, but for the most part, he's usually really quick. And his stuff is very reasonable and very, very good quality. So if you wanna get something done and you're not too terribly far from Garrett, Indiana, this guy's the guy to go to for leather work, headliner, stuff like that. So anyways, on our way back to the house, just got this dropped off, got some title work done at the BMV for other stuff, and we're good to go. Man, this truck looks so much better clean. So what we're actually gonna do now is try to work on the Resto Gen a little bit more. So here's the Resto Gen, which by the way, the truck is up for a giveaway right now if you wanna enter to win it. And we're in the process of finishing it right now. It's a super clean, beautiful first gen. Anyways, so I talked to Decent Garage on YouTube, that's his YouTube channel, and uh, he sent me a message on Instagram. I happened to finally see it. I then followed him. We exchanged some conversation regarding this truck, my issue with the idle, and he gave me a few ideas of what I could try, and we're gonna try to do those few things right now. One of those things is he asked me if my top hat spring was missing on this truck, which it is not, because I distinctly remember putting it back on. And then he also mentioned the throttle indexing is typically on the second notch, but it could have been indexed differently since the pump was a rebuilt pump, not an OEM factory pump that was still sitting in the truck from factory untouched. Sometimes they're indexed differently when they're rebuilt and put back together. He also said to just try backing the power screw out, even though I think I put it back, you know, all the way into stock, he said just back it out a couple turns, start the truck again, and basically back it out until the truck essentially will hardly start and then just slowly put it back in until it idles about where I want it and lock it in place. And you know, that could be it, or like he said, it could be the indexing, um, or there could be just another issue with the springs and the way they were reinstalled the way I did. But 
Um, we're going to start by backing out the power screw. We just took it out about two turns, two and a half turns, and we're going to see how it does at startup. I've got my block off board ready. This is not the funnest thing in the world, uh, testing this when I don't have anybody else out here. But this is the way I've got to do it. Um, working solo most of the time, so we're going to give this a shot. Hopefully the truck isn't completely dead. I'm also going to see if I can roll it back a little. something behind the tire here. Some good news. That sounded more like mm, 1800 RPM, not 3000 plus. So we're, we're in the right direction. We're gonna back out that power screw a little bit more. We're gonna give it another two turns out, see what happens. I backed it out a couple more turns. Ow. He said the worst case scenario, if you back it out too much, the truck just won't even start because it won't be getting enough fuel. And we'll see what that does. Move my block out of the way just in case I gotta run for that board. I can't tell if it's going down anymore. It's just sounding the same. Let's see if that changes again. <laughs> sounded a lot better. Feeling pretty good about it. We'll see what that does. That was one more rotation. <laughs> Oh man, that sounded perfect. And yes, that is a deer head right there. <laughs> sounded perfect. So I'm gonna tighten up that lock-in nut right where it's supposed to be and just keep that there for now. Once it's locked in place then, cause I think that sounded like it was about 500 and 500 to 600 RPM at idle, which is fine with me. I, I'm totally happy with where that's at. So if it'll stay there, I'm totally good with it. So I'm gonna lock that into place and uh, then start the truck up again and this time, give it a couple revs, and of course keep the board ready, but just give it a couple revs, see what happens, see if it revs up and comes back down, or if it sticks, or you know what I'm saying? So you never know. So we're gonna give that a shot. Get it locked in place and then go from there. I have to give all the credit to this fix to Decent Garage on YouTube. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. I was honestly so terrified to come out here and do this video and like finish it. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I just want, maybe I'm just gonna call a tow truck. Maybe I'll just have a tow truck, tow it to the shop that built the pump and have them like make sure that it doesn't run away. So if anything happens, it's in their shop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was so like paranoid about it. I'm like, dude, I've seen the videos of the runaways. I had it screaming at high idle at like 4,000 RPMs and I did it that one time. Freaked me out, you know, and I'm, I just like, I didn't want to do it again after that because I'm like, man, it's just crazy. But we got the first gen pump sorted out. Apparently the power screw just had to be readjusted with the new 3200 governor spring due to basically it changing the fueling a little bit. So now we can work on putting the new injectors in the truck and all the other stuff that we wanted to get done. Oh man. So happy, just so, so, so happy that this thing is now figured out and I can drive it and I don't have to stare at this board every time I come out here to start this truck. Just dreading having to use it. 
just so much more satisfaction out with this truck right now. So we got the truck pulled out here, got some video. There's a few things that we're gonna do. We're ordering a new bumper for the truck. I thought maybe if I pulled the plastics off somehow, it would look just like the Whistling Diesel first gen bumper, but it is not. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to order the chrome bumper that goes in the front of these that doesn't have all the holes for the plastic to snap onto. So it'll be a nice chrome bumper without all those holes. We're gonna put the injectors in it. And then pretty soon, now that I figured out the idle thing through the help of the guy on Instagram, we're going to now be able to get this thing hauled down to Red Key, Indiana and get the new clutch put in, get the carrier bearing done, a couple of other small things. And then this thing is going to be ready to cruise down the road. And it's gonna be awesome. And the center console is getting done right now. The guy said that it should be done in about a week. So that's gonna be super killer as well. And that'll totally button up the interior and have that done. So if you guys want to enter to win this truck, every $5, is 20 entries to win, but that deal ends tomorrow, December 5th at 11.59 p.m. Unless you're watching this on December 5th, then today's your last day to get 20X entries and they won't come back. And there's not gonna be any entry period higher than this, so just remember that. You can still enter until December 21st by placing an order on the website. You just won't be able to get 20X entries after December 5th. So just keep that in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what all you guys wanna see with this truck before it goes off to one of you guys. Like always, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.